dangerous thing when a boyhood problem or a boyhood situation becomes a manhood dilemma. Right. But God says, just as you cross over, just as you inherit the promise, you've got to be fixed of some things. The scripture says that then after they were circumcised, that they stayed there until they were covered. Gilgal is it's a place of uncertainty. It's a place of unknown. But see Gilgal this morning, ladies and gentlemen, as a place of healing. God's going to fix some things in Gilgal. I'm saying God's going to fix some things that were on the inside of you since your childhood. God is going to fix some things. You're going to be stripped. You're going to be fixed in Gilgal. But then the Bible says this. That right when they were about to enter Jericho. Right when they were about to cross over to then go and inherit the promised land. The Bible says that Joshua saw somebody. He saw somebody and he went up to the man. And he says, are you for my enemies? Or are you for me? And the man responded to Joshua and said, neither. He says, I've come here as the commander of the Lord's army to tell you something. Joshua said, well, what do you want to tell me? And the angel said, the man said to Joshua, he says, take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. He says, because now the land that you are standing on is holy ground. The Bible says that Joshua immediately bowed down to worship. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be stripped. You'll be fixed. But still worship. Still worship. Still worship. Just as you go in to conquer the land. Still worship. Just as you get ready to go into the place where those Jericho walls are going to come down. Still worship. The land that you are standing on is holy ground. He won't even in the place that God had promised him yet. But right there, God was conditioning him. God was conditioning his feet to walk in a new territory. God was conditioning his feet to walk in the place of blessing. So he says, take your shoes off. Because the land that you now stand on is holy ground. What does that mean? That means that it's righteous. That means that it's different. That means that it's set to the who are so close to the promised land. Receive the word of the Lord. That God is telling you right now. While you're still in Gilgal, right now, while you're still in a place that is uncertain, right now, while you're still in a place of the unknown, I'm going to condition, condition your feet. I'm going to condition your spirit. I'm going to condition your hands. Because I need you to be prepared for what it feels like, for what it looks like on the other side to walk, to take over. The territory that the Lord your God hasn't given you. But while you're still there, and I'm still conditioning you, take your shoes off. But bow down to worship. Bow down to worship. Some of you are there. But God needs you to worship now. God needs you to worship now. God needs you to give him a thank you, Jesus, now. God needs you to give him a hallelujah now. God needs you to give him a glory to God now. Why? Because if you give it to him now, God says the praises that you rendered unto me.